the materials that you need to make this monokini. You need approximately 492 yards of sport weight yarn. And then to figure out what size hook you'll need, you have to do a little swatch and figure it out with the gauge. Here is the gauge right here. So you can figure that out. But when I did mine, I need to use a size D hook. And then you need a removable stitch marker. Okay, so we need to chain 41. Before we do that, we need to make a slip knot. So I just grab my yarn twist it, grab the yarn underneath and pull, and then tighten it around my hook. And then to chain 41, I put my yarn around my needle and then go through. So that's one, do it again, two, three, Four. Okay, so chain 41. Now for row one, we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and across. So not this one, but this one right here. So we go through like that and then we yarn over and then we yarn over again and go through our two stitches like that. And then we go through our next one and we're going to single crochet. Go through our next one, and then we go through it, yarn over, go through these two, all the way to the end, and we will have 40 stitches. Now we chain one, and then we turn, and then we are going to decrease two so we'll have 38 stitches at the end of this row so what we do is we single crochet decrease so you go through the first stitch yarn over and then you go through the second stitch and yarn over now you have three stitches on here yarn over and you're going to go through all three And then you single crochet all the way to the end, except for the last two stitches. And you're going to do the exact same thing. And the single crochet decrease. And this is what mine looks like. I'm not going to show you how to do every row because I just showed you how to do rows 1 through 35. So you know how to do those just from what I showed you. So make sure you click on the link to go to the written pattern and I will meet you at row 36. Okay, so this is what yours should look like. If you didn't know, we're doing the bottoms of the swimsuit. So now we need to go and do the back of it. So we're going to increase row 36. So instead of decreasing the first two stitches, we're actually going to increase. To increase, all we do is single crochet twice in the first stitch. So that's one. We go back in the same loop. And that's two. And then you're going to single crochet all the way across. Then you have your last stitch and single crochet once, single crochet twice, chain one and turn it over. 
So now you should have 12. Okay, this is what mine looks like. Okay, so you know how to chain. Well, you're going to chain 25. Okay, I chained 25, and now you're going to single crochet in your first 40 stitches. So right here, this is where we are going to um, attach these two together. Okay, so you single crochet all the way across and then when you get to, let's say this is your 20 stitch. I just put it in between. So my 20 and 21, I put it in between right there. And then you just keep on doing your single crochet. Now I just did my chain 25. And if you need this to be wider or smaller, you can. This is where you adjust it around your waist to see if it'll fit. And then you're going to slip stitch. So you just go through and you don't yarn over like you do single crochet, you just go through this next loop like that. And then we chain three, and this is our first double crochet. And then we turn. Now we're going to double crochet in our first chain. So when we double crochet, we have to yarn over, and then we go through our first chain and then we yarn over, and then we yarn over again, we go through the first two loops, and then we yarn over and go through the last two. And then we chain two, one, two, and then you skip the next two chains, and then you double crochet in the next chain. Oh, wait, you have to yarn over first, okay. So one, two, we're going to go through this one and double crochet. Okay, and then you just keep on repeating this chain two and do skip two chains and double crochet in your next chain all the way till your end of your 25 chain. Okay, so this is what mine looks like. So I just did my double crochet in my last stitch and we don't chain two. We start double crocheting around our 40 stitches. So that's your first one. And then when you're done with your 40 stitches, you just do the same thing. You start your double crochet, chain two, skip two, double crochet, chain two, skip two, double crochet. Like we did on this side. I thought I'd show you, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so I have eight holes. You start double crocheting on the back. You double crochet 69 times. And then you slip stitch at the very end. I'll show you how to do that. So I just double crocheted 69 and then you need to make sure that our little circles here aren't twisted. And then you are going to slip stitch into your third 
chain up top right here. So yarn over, go through that stitch, and go through your second stitch. Just like that. And then we chain three, one, two, three, and then we turn so we're on the back side again. And then for row 82, you just double crochet across your next 69 stitches. And then I will meet you on our side. Okay, so now I chain one and I'm going to skip my next double crochet. And then you double crochet in your chain two space, so right in here. And then you chain one, chain two, and then double crochet in your next chain two space. All right, so that's how you double crochet in your chain two space. So keep following along with the pattern. Okay, so we just ended row 85 and you're supposed to chain five and turn. So instead of chaining three, we chain five, starting on working on the back. Okay, now, so for row 86, we double crochet in the same space. So right here. And then we are going to skip the next two stitches. So one, two, and then we double crochet in our, the third stitch. Chain one. And then you double crochet in the next stitch. And then you so then you just keep repeating. So you skip your next two stitches. One, two, then we double crochet. And then we chain one and we double crochet in the next stitch. Then you repeat this all the way around. And I wanted to show you on the sides. So this is what mine's looking like. And you're not going through each of these spaces. You're going through the stitches. So I'm going to show you. You skip two, one, two. And you're gonna go through your third stitch. Chain one. And then you're going to double crochet through your next stitch. And sometimes they're kind of hard to go through. Just make sure that you only go, like if you go through that, you're going just through the space and you don't want to do that. So you need to make sure that this, do you see that one? That you're going in between there. So you stay in the middle. like that. If at all. Okay, and this is where I ended. So I have like one, two, and this would be my next start, the double crochet. But that's at the very end. So that's awesome. So we have five chains, right? We slip stitch through the third one. Okay, and then we're supposed to be moving the marker 
in the middle you want to make sure that you put it through a chain one that's like in the center so if you want to count you know starting wherever you feel is best i guess right here and go through but since my markers with this circle that's where i think i'm gonna put it i'll double check though and count and make sure but so you just move it up in this chain one space this part isn't really clear. You're supposed to count 15 V's from our center. I'm assuming, I mean, this is a V, V, and that was an upside down V. So it's like each little space, chain one space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So I'm supposed to start right here. Um, so it's either 15 of these or um, 45 stitches because there's three in each V, three stitches in each V. So you can do that and make sure it's right. So to get to this place, since we're right here and we need to get to here, you just slip stitch all the way over there. Okay, so slip stitch over there and then continue with the pattern. Okay, I wanted to show you, so I just finished that row and I believe that this part, the one where you did like the two double crochets and everything is supposed to be in the middle where this, our stitch marker is. So I am one, two um, spaces away so I need to instead of starting 15 of these spaces over I need to do 17 and then these will line up correctly see there's my other two double crochet and here's my other one this one starts like right here so if we just do that they'll line up perfectly so I'm not sure why she did 15 or maybe I'm not counting right much better, right? So that one is in the middle. Here's my other two. Okay, and then I also just wanted to tell you, just in case you didn't know, um, I'm on row 88, and it says do double crochet and first double crochet. If you're not sure what the double crochet is, it's these right here. So since I already chained four, then I'm going to go to this one and you just double crochet. So here's the, my double crochet and then here's my chain one space. Okay, I wanted to show you how I did my row 87. So this is the very beginning and this is where I started right here. So this right here is my chain five and then it says to skip two double crochet. So you skip this one and this one and then you're going to double crochet in the next chain one space which is right here. Then you chain two and then you repeat from the asterisk to the asterisk. The skip two double crochet. So one, two, double crochet here, chain two skip two, double crochet, and then you double crochet here. And then it says that you need to chain two. And then I did my two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet in the same chain one space. Then you chain three, and then you single crochet in the next chain one space, which is right here. Now here's our next repeating thing, where you chain four, so one, two, three, four, and then you single crochet and then you're going to repeat that eight more times so nine times all together chain four single crochet all the way to here and then this is where you do your chain three two double crochet chain one two double crochet and this should be where your stitch marker is if it's not if it's like over here then you need to adjust where you started so that you end up with this part the two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet in 
where stitch marker is. Then we do our chain three, single crochet, and then our chain four, single crochet. So I did mine one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's one more on that side. I don't know why, but that's what it says to do. Then your chain three, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. Then you do your chain two. So, okay, so for this one right here, it says to chain two, and then it says to chain two, and then you do your two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. Just do chain two, because on this one, we do a chain two. And then we do our double crochet. And then we do it three more times. One, two, three. Chain four, and we turn. And so the rest of them are is basically the exact same thing on how to do it just like that. Okay, so I have my chain four. Sorry about my nails. And we are going to double crochet in our first double crochet, which is, this is a double crochet. So we do it right here. And then we chain two and double crochet in our next double crochet. So these are just be right on top of each other. And then you're gonna repeat that one more time. So chain two, double crochet in our next double crochet. Now we chain two, and then we two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, in our chain one space of V shell. So our chain one space is right here in between these two double crochets. I need to go through the whole hole like that. And then you do your two double crochet, chain one, into double crochet. And then for the rest of these, you're supposed to do your chain three, and then you skip your first chain space, which is your chain three, and then you go to the next one, which is your chain four. Okay, this is what mine looks like so far. I am now on row 104 which is we repeat row 100. Um, with row 100, you have to do these, oh, come on. you have to do these V shells six times. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what I think we should do is do your first one here, your second one in the middle of these two. Do you see that? And then, so one, two, three, four, in between these two, five, and then your last one. Okay, if you made it this far, yay, congratulations. So with the chain threes, remember, you didn't do the single crochets. You just skipped them all and you went to your chain four did your single crochets. Right? That's what the pineapple looks like. Pretty cool. Okay, so we are going to start on the side that we left off. And there's no chain or anything. So we're turning, right? Okay, so for the cut, our setup row, it says to attach yarn, or yarn's already attached and you single crochet in the first 20 stitches of the top lace. I'm going to chain one. And then let's go to this one. And you just single crochet the first 20 stitches, okay? So just keep going all the way. So 20 times. 
Okay, because later on, when we finish single crocheting rows 1 through 17, we are going to come back over on this side and start single crocheting this way. So we need for like 20 more rows, so we need a lot more room over here. So I started to actually, um, I single crocheted in like two of the stitches. So I did like two single crochets and the ones that were a little bigger stitches so that I could stop right here. I don't know if you can see. So that's the middle and then right here. Maybe yours isn't like that, maybe, I don't know. But anyways, I know that we'll need more room coming this way and so that's why I did it like that. I just made them a little closer. Okay, and then we chain one and turn. And then, like I already said, you're going to single crochet all the way to the end of the row and then chain one. You do that for rows one through 17. Okay, and I will see you at row 18. Okay, so for row 18, I already did my single crochet all the way to the end of the row. And now I'm going to be going down here. So, just go through these holes. all the way down and then you're going to slip stitch into the lace stitch and then you chain one you turn and you keep on doing this but when so now I'm at the uh, odd row Number 19. Now for even rows, at the end you do the same thing. You come back down here and you pick up one of these stitches and you do a slip stitch and chain one and then go back. I just finished my second cup and I just wanted to show you how I finish it. I cut it off, and then I pull the remainder out. And then all that you have to do is weave in your ends, which I have a video right here that will show you how to weave ends. We will attach our yarn to the very edge of the cup. I feel like it would be a lot easier if you went down a crochet hook size doing this but let's just do it this way yeah okay so we attach our yarn and then it says to chain 50 but on Ravelry all the other people chain more they chain a hundred so I'm going to chain 100 one two three Four, five. Okay, now that I have 100, you go to your second stitch and you're going to single crochet in each of the chains all the way back to where you started the chains. Okay, so now we are going to single crochet all the way on this side to the tip right here. And that's when we're going to do our other chain 100. And then when you come back, you go up and you come back down. You're going to single crochet all the way down here. 
single crochet all the way here to this tip and then you make your straps here come back down and go all the way to here and then you do your chains here and back down slip stitch right here and you're done all you have to do is weave your ends after that And that's how I single crochet. I hope you had fun and enjoyed watching this video. If you did and you want to make something else with me, then here are some options. Or you can go to my page and look at all my other videos. You can also subscribe so you never miss one of my tutorials. Bye!